Chris Daywad. I am a visual artist, mostly oil painting, and I live right in the heart of Hollywood. I've been painting since I was a kid. It's just been something that's progressed as I've grown up. I was born and raised in Flint, Michigan. My father used to paint a lot as a child, and then my mom is just creative in every aspect that she does in her life. She doesn't know it, but she's creative. My parents were always encouraging me to be a painter. They just knew that I loved it so much and they knew that was what was going to make me happy in life. So I first had issues with my eyes probably since I was born, but we didn't really know about it um, until I was maybe in kindergarten and they do a standard eye test. And that's when we discovered that I was partially almost blind in my right eye. And that's why a lot of my eye hand coordination was off and why I was actually behind in reading and learning. And it was actually a relief to find out I just needed glasses. But then I had a retinal detachment when I was 11 and that was scary. So that was when things really kind of progressed and I actually lost complete vision in my right eye. It was scary, unfortunately it was a pretty Frustrating time too because you have to get the adults to believe you that you lost your vision first before you go to the doctor. I actually remember it was just after school. I was like eating a PBJ sandwich, watching Sailor Moon, and I was just like seeing floaties and then all of a sudden a flicker and then it just went black. And then so I was sitting there like this, actually hitting it. And then finally my mom was like, just put a cold cloth on it, um, lay down, rest your eyes. And I'm like, okay, I took a nap and woke back up and I was like, no, it's, it's, I'm telling you, it is gone. No parent wants to hear that their child has completely lost vision in their right eye. So we went to the eye doctor and he was friendly. He was our like neighborhood eye doctor. So he got out of bed for us, which was wonderful and found out I had a retinal detachment and like four months later I had to do the surgery to correct that. It worked, but little did I know I guess would be that years later having a retinal detachment causes cataracts eventually. So about a year and a half ago I was driving and I noticed when I was trying to turn right because that forces me to use my right eye more than, than using my left, it was cloudy and I thought at first it was my contact lenses but it, it was actually my eyes after I went home and took out my lens and it's like, oh no, this is actually not good. I need to go to the eye doctor. I should have probably started noticing it sooner. I guess it's been happening for about three years, but I really didn't notice it until, again, because I don't, I grew up with this eye being not very usable in my mind. Like, so my mind was trained to only take the information from my left eye. It doesn't want to distorted images. It takes the most, you know, perfect, clear image. So my regular eye doctor said I needed to see a specialist about the cataracts, and that's when I started researching, look, looking around for specialists, and I found Dr. Varma at the Eye Institute. Growing up, since I had to go to a lot of eye doctors, I kind of gotten used to, like, what's a good place and what's not a good place. And the second I walked in, I immediately knew I was going to be in good hands here. Um, everybody was very personable, super friendly. It did not make me feel like I was in the hospital, especially because I was so worried about like how, I mean, I was honestly scared. I was worried that I was gonna lose my eyesight permanently. I didn't know that it could be fixed right away. Dr. Varma immediately uh, reassured me that even though having cataracts at such a young age, it was going to be a very easy and painless surgery and he could handle it within a day and I would be able to see almost that day. I actually was very surprised. I mean, obviously I woke up from the surgery and very groggy with pain, but then the morning after the surgery, I woke up and it was, it's a lot on your face. So I had to take the tape off and take the, the cone that protects your eye so when you sleep you don't touch it. This is actually probably the emotional part because I didn't know I was gonna see 2020. So um, I woke up and I like cried a bit because I could see. The first person I ended up seeing was my boyfriend and I didn't expect to be able to see as well as I I had to, I shook him awake and was like, oh my God, I can see. And he's like, are you supposed to? And I'm like, I think so. I, I think I have full 2020 vision now. And he was like, do you have your contact? And I was like, no, I didn't put my contact in. So 
And they saw that too when I came in, because you have to come in the next day. So when I came in the next day, I was like, oh, yeah, it's good. I can see, and not only can I see, I can like see better than I ever had. Like, I grew up with not having any vision in my right eye. So I didn't, I, I guess he didn't want to get my hopes up too high. He said a few times, I'm gonna shoot for those stars. I'm gonna get 2020 if I can, but we'll see what happens. And I mean, I got it, I got 2020. So, I mean, almost, I think, better. Painting is completely different, colors completely different. I didn't even know the colors were going to change. They did. I get less headaches when I work. I can work for longer. I'm noticing it in all my new work that things are changing. It's cool to see in my previous work and then the work after the surgery, there is somewhat of a difference with my color clarity. I can actually go to back to the palette and see the colors more clearly and also how they relate to each other next to each other was a lot different because the the shades and the tones, I guess, were much brighter. I mean, that's the biggest aspect, is it, 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 the light that goes into your eyes is it's more clear and it's brighter, so you, it, it's gonna translate to the color. If I hadn't gotten the surgery, I'm assuming I would have only gone further downhill and lost my eyesight completely. It messes up everything. I mean, one of the first things Dr. Varma said to me was like, you can catch a ball now. <laughs> And I, I thought it was hilarious because I used to always get teased that I couldn't, like, my eye hand coordination, I couldn't catch a ball. And I'm like, oh, how did you know that? Oh, you're an eye doctor. Of course you do that.